All right, here we are in module five, and this is lesson one. We're just getting started. So check out this. This is a diagram that represents types of musical instruments. Okay, we're going to use the diagram to tell me whether the following statements are true or false. Okay, so just spend a couple minutes just checking it out. All right, we have musical instruments broken into strings winds, and percussion. And then we have strings that are strummed, strings that are bowed, guitar, violin, right? The bow of the violin and strumming the guitar, of course. And then we have winds. We have brass and woodwinds. Under brass, we have trumpet. And under woodwinds, we have clarinet. And then we have percussion. And under percussion, we have drums. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a couple of questions about these musical instruments. See if you can answer. Okay, just true or false. You want to do a little true or false. Okay, T in sign language T or F. Okay, all musical instruments are stringed instruments. All musical instruments are stringed instruments. True or false? False right? Stringed instruments are only these, not all musical instruments. All percussion instruments are musical instruments. All percussion instruments are musical instruments. True. All percussion instruments are in the group of musical instruments. All brass instruments are winds. All brass instruments are winds. True. Good job. All brass instruments are down here under winds, so they're in the family of the winds. All wind instruments are brass. All wind instruments are brass. False. Okay? Because all wind instruments could be brass or woodwinds. Right? You see that? Okay, so how do you know from the diagram that not all wind instruments are brass, right? Because you can see they could also be woodwinds, right? So this diagram is a hierarchy, hierarchy. Let's just put that word up here for you really quick. H-I-E-R, higher. Archy. And a hierarchy means an order that shows that some things are the big group, right? And then the details that we're breaking down. It places objects into groups based on their characteristics. In a hierarchy, objects can be placed above or below other objects. A trumpet is a kind of brass instrument, right? So a trumpet is listed under brass instruments in the hierarchy. We could call a trumpet a brass instrument, but we call it a trumpet because the trumpet is the more specific name. So you see how we're getting more specific as we go down. This is the group of musical instruments. Then we have three specific types. And inside those types, we even have more types. And then we have a specific type, right? Okay, and this is a hierarchy, so please learn that word, hierarchy. And today we're going to interpret and construct hierarchies. That should be some fun, and I have a funny video for you. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> All right, we'll watch some more of those in our next video. See you then. 